My name is Guillermo Morales Jr. and I'm 26 years old. When I accepted Jesus into my heart, everything started getting better. Um, he freed me from an addiction to heroin and he started repairing all the broken relationships I had with my family. This is my mom's house and this is where I spent a lot of my time uh, isolating. I would just stay in here until I was like really, really sick and I decided to go out and, uh, and go start panhandling and trying to make money to get high again. When my mom was at work, I would basically just kick heroin right here, feeling sorry for myself. Growing up, I was raised Catholic. I was forced to go to church every week. Uh, it made me not like God, despise going to church. When my dad became a Jehovah's Witness, uh, it started falling apart inside the house. He was really never home. He'd come home for his suit and tie and either go straight outside to uh, whether it be a liquor store or a grocery store just to hand out little pamphlets. Looking back now, uh, the pain of not having my dad around, it contributed to me turning to drugs. I was selling drugs out of my mom's house and I'd have people come meet me. When they'd come over, I didn't really care where they parked except not inside the complex, but I'd have them park on the street. We're at the spot where uh, I used to go sleep when I was homeless. It's uh, the quadrangle where you get your Medi-Cal and your food stamps. So this is pretty much where I would lay down my sleeping bag. This is the outlet that uh, somebody blessed me with when I was homeless. Uh, I had a MacBook Pro and uh, I was able to just juice it up right here, just be able to be online all day because I get the, the Wi-Fi from here. There was a, a security guard that would get here around like 6.30. Uh, he'd wake me up and he'd tell me it's time to go. There was a guy in Pacific Grove who actually let me stay at his house as long as I gave him a fix every now and then. We'd come all the way to Salinas and meet up all my customers and then we'd head back to Pacific Grove where I would get them high on meth and, and heroin. One night uh, we scored we scored some dope and we got back and right before bed he wanted he wanted the first shot and I shot him up he's he's on his knees uh, with his face down on the seat of the chair with the big pool of uh, of drool this guy ended up ODing that night um, and he was never the same mentally he s suffered that night from lack of oxygen to the brain that is something that I regret the most in my addiction because I can never take it back and or or fix it and and I'm sorry to that guy. I was only homeless for a sum of like two months. Uh, even though it, was, it seems like a little bit of time, it was like the worst part of my life. I experienced street life and uh, I never want to go back to it. When I first got to the bridge, I thought of church as just a time to catch up on some Z's. As I started paying more attention to the word, my heart started to change. For so long, I've liked a lot of evil things that I never thought I would have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And now that I do, I like serving him in any way I can. Uh, I like going up on Monday nights for MEW, Regeneration, and, and just contributing by playing the bass or anything I can do there. I feel that I feel that only the power of God could have freed me from that strong of an addiction.